What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite electric types of all time, Magnezoo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, consider subscribing. It is totally free. Only takes a second of your guys' time. So huge shout out to everybody who is a subscriber towards the channel. But like I said, today we're rocking out with Magnezone. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Magnemite and Magneton's long overweighted evolution. Because, you know, before Gen 4, Magnemite and Magneton did not have an evolution. And you could always tell that there was something off. Nobody wanted to use it. Everyone was just like, yo, this Pokemon definitely needs an evolution. So when Magnezone came in here, it was just perfect. It just filled a void that needed to be filled. But... Let's get started here with the team preview. We have Magnet as this thing's item. Gives that thing an electric typing boost. And then next is Nature. And guys, forgive me on this Nature. It is relaxed right here. It should definitely be timid or modest. I messed up when building this thing, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Like I said, it should be timid or modest, but at least I got them EVs correct. We got special attack and speed as this thing's EVs alongside with that sturdy ability so this Pokemon cannot be one shot. Move set is going to be Volt Switch to pivot out, Flash Cannon for stab, Protect, and Thunder to pair well with that Rain Squad. You guys will see the Rain Squad coming right up next. Starting off with the Rain Squad is going to be Ludi Cole. We got Scald, we got Fake Out, we got Ice Beam, we got Giga Drain for Stab and HP Recovery. EVs for this guy is going to be Special Attack and mainly HP. We got a little bit in Defense and a tad bit in Speed. So a little bit of all over the place, but it works really, really well. Ability is going to be Swift Swim to double its speed in the rain, alongside with this nature of Modest to give it that Special Attack boost. Last but not least, the item this thing is holding is going to be that Life Orb to make it get a great damage boost. Next Pokemon, did you guys guessed it? It's Pelper over here. Pairs perfectly with this Magnetone, so Thunder hits 100% of the time, and pairs perfectly with that Swift from Ludicolo. This thing has a damp rock, so you know, rain will last 10 times longer. Not 10 times longer. It's a couple turns longer, but I like to say 10 times longer because it really does feel like that. Nature for this guy is going to be modest to give it that special attack boost. EVs for this guy is going to be bulked out in HP, a little bit in special attack, a little bit in defense, and a little bit in speed. Drizzle obviously has that ability, so every time it enters battle, it sets rain. And last but not least, rocking out with his awesome moveset of Scald, Hurricane, Roost, and Protect. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Garchomp. Cannot go wrong with this amazing physical attacker. Fairly normal moveset with Sword Dance, Protect, Dragonfall, and EQ. Eevee's first guy, obviously going to be Attack and Speed with that Sand Vow. Probably should put Rough Skin on this one, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Hopefully, we'll ver reverse some T-Tars, and Sand Vow will come up clutch for us. Nature for this guy is going to be Jolly to give it that speed boost. Last but not least, the item it is holding is that Yachi Berry to protect us from those ice typing moves. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Togekiss. Togekiss is so great in this format. Really good all around. We got the scope lens rocking on this thing. The timid nature. EVs are bouncing all over the place with HP, special attack, speed, and defense. Super luck, obviously, to pair well with that scope lens. And last but not least, a normal move set of follow me, air slash, dazzling gleam, and protect for this thing's move set. Last Pokemon on squad? Yes, this is the last Pokemon on squad, and it is Blaziken. This Pokemon is super, super strong, and I cannot wait to use it. It's got Blaze Kick, it's got Protect, it has Swords Dance set up, and Close Combat for a heavy hitting stab move. EVs for this guy are obviously going to be Attack and Speed with that Speed Boost ability, so we get a plus one Speed Boost every single time at the end of every single turn. Nature for this guy is obviously going to be adamant, gives that huge attack boost, and last but not least, the item we are rocking out with is going to be that Focus Sash, so this Pokemon doesn't get one tapped. Guys, if you want to check out the EVs, the moveset, anything, Poke Pace will be down in the description below, but without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder, look to get some wins with this Magnezone Rain Team. Let's get rocking here with Magnezone, hopping into our first battle for today's video, and hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and get started off on a strong note, but our opponent's got a pretty cool trick room team and a chlorophyll jump bluff so he's got torkoal he's got jump bluff chlorophyll doubles its speed in the drought and then he has snorlax eruption type flosion hariyama and dust noir to pop that trick room and i'm not gonna lie trick room is definitely scaring me here trick room is very very strong very very powerful uh, up against the squad so i don't know how we should go into this one and how we should play it i think like maybe tokus could be a great lead because maybe we get some flinches maybe we get off some big damage alongside with uh ludicolo could come in here we do a fake out turn one and then we could swap into Pelper. Could be nice here. Could definitely be nice. Or I could just go, uh... I could go... No, I'm going to lead these two. I'm going to bring Ludicolo. And then I'm going to bring Pelper alongside with Magnezone. I think Magnezone could be solid. He has a lot of defensive bulk. So having these special attackers out on the field could work wonders for us. It really could. But I wonder what he's going to go into. I wonder how he's going to play this one. I could bring Blaziken. Blaziken could be solid. But maybe we don't even bring, uh... Ludicolo. I do like Ludicolo, though. You know, we're going to lock in this squad. 
We're gonna lock in a squad. We're just gonna go in with our special attackers here. I like we're not gonna bring Blazekin. We're not gonna bring, bring Garchomp. We're just gonna go all special attack out on this one, and we're gonna grab ourselves some Weedle. But Shrekrim teams are tough up against this team. I was playing with it off screen, off camera, and all that good stuff. And I was struggling a little bit with Trickham teams. Other than that, I was doing really, really good with this team, controlling the battle really well. But like once a Trickham comes in here, this team doesn't really have anything to counter it, and that's one flaw I kinda I kinda gave this team. This guy's gonna send out Dusty War alongside with Hariyama. So what I want to do here is gonna be probably just go into a uh go into a fake out on the Hariyama. Make him flinch so he doesn't fake out any of my Pokemon. And just go for an air slash over onto the uh the Dusty War and maybe hopefully get a flinch here. Could be really good. Could work some wonders here. But that's going to be our play. That is going to be our play all day. So let's see how this one plays out. Because obviously, like, the trick is going to poke here. We can't fake out the Dust Noir. That's tough news. It's just tough news for us. Let's see how this guy plays this one. But we do have Sturdy on our Magnuson. That can work wonders. We do have Protect on a few of these Pokemon, which we're going to need to kind of waste out these trick room turns. But I, other than that, I feel like we should be able to do decently fine here. So Hariyama does the tech. Smart play by him. Kind of saw that coming, but I really want to fake out just in case. But he's going to probably proc Guts here with his burn. And we're going to roll out here with an air slash. And hope, fingers crossed, to get ourselves a nice level flinch here. Big old damage. Flinch him up. Flinch him up. Give me a flinch. No, man. No. We get the crit. No flinch comes out. Um, How should we roll out? How should we roll out from here? His Guts is triggered. He could go for a knockoff. He could go for a close combat. I wish we did have protect. But in this case, I'm going to aim for another crit here. Take out Dustin Noir and kind of just go from here. We go for an Ice Beam. Could go for Scald. Um, could go for Giga Dream. Giga Drain's probably a play on the Hariyama because I do think Hariyama's going to hit up on Ludicolo. Maybe take him out with close combat. But then more importantly, we're going to rock through with Giga Drain and try to get off some big old damage. So Hariyama's going to close combat here and go to Togekiss here. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. It goes to a not very effective shot. Defense is going to drop. It is going to drop, which means my Ludicolo can do way more damage and do some work here. Dustin Water's going to go next. And what's he going for? Ice Punch maybe? Nightshade popping out here. So Tokus eats that up all day. We just gotta hope we get a crit onto this Dustin Noir here. Giga Drain comes out here. Lovely damage. Lovely damage there with that minus one on the special defense. We're gonna lose some HP to our life orb. And then Tokus gonna drop his air slash. Give me the crit. Give me the crit, baby. Take this thing out. Let's go. Big time crit with that scope lens and super luck. We are rolling out strong. Okay. So what's my play from here? He's burned. He's chipped up. I can just go straight into a Daz and Blame. Take that out and maybe double down to his next Pokemon. But I'm kind of waiting for him to bring out that Pelt. Or not the Pelper, it's Torkoal. Right? He's gotta be rocking with Torkoal, right? He's gonna bring out Snorlax instead. Could be a belly jump Snorlax. Could indeed be a belly jump. No, I do not want to run this battle. No! I don't know why my my uh left stick just moved down to the bottom, but we're gonna pop a gleam here. Kinda of worrying about this Snorlax. Uh did we go for a Skull and maybe try to get off a burn on him? I think that's our play. I think Skull's gonna be our play, but Belly Jump could definitely come out here. He facades here. Tokus is able to eat up, and what are you going for? He's going for a close combat. Can you eat that up? Do not. That's tough news. But that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll take out Hariyama here. We'll get off some damage onto this uh, Snorlax. And then we'll kind of just roll out from here. I think we'll bring out Magnuson. Get Magnuson rocking. We do have Sturdy with him. He can soak up some shots. And we might want to just double protect next turn. Might just be our play. Hariyama's going to drop down to that Gleam. And once we waste out these Trick turns, we're going to be thrive. We are going to be thriving here. Uh, could bring out the Pelipper. But yeah, I think Magnuson is definitely going to be the play here. Save Pelipper for that back end. So we'll double protect here. Oh, Torkoal's gonna come out here. Yeah, we're gonna double protect here and then swap the weather. That is definitely my play. Definitely my play. So we forced that Torkoal to come out. We still have the Pelper in the back end. So good thing I did not go into Pelper. That could have been a rough play. So we'll protect here. We'll protect again. And we're just gonna hope this thing is not going for a belly jump. We just gotta hope that. That is our only thing we have to hope. The double protects coming out here. How many turns are left in Trickle? That's my only problem with this game. It's like, I cannot check that. I have to, like, use pen and paper or just, like, remember it in my head. But I think it might be one more turn after this. Might be one more turn after this. Your is going to pop here. We double protect. And this battle's going to come down to the wire here due to that trick. But we do have Sturdy. We are going to switch weather, which I really do like. And this thing's going to go for, oh, my God. There's the belly drum. I knew it was coming soon. I knew that the belly drum was coming soon. I knew that the belly drum was coming soon. I think he's gonna soak up a berry and uh how do we go from here we go after that Snorlax. that eruption is going to do us dirty but from here we have to swap in the pelper have to swap in the pelper and i think we just drop a thunder here thunder in the torkoal thunder into uh Snorlax. who's the player what is my play i think we go into Snorlax here i'm coming after you Snorlax. tokus swap back here yo if he doubles out of my magazine i'm gonna be very upset which i think he's gonna do though 
I think he's just going to go for an eruption and then maybe go into a facade in the mag zone, but we still might be able to eat off this. Not very effective. Let's see. Eruption's got to come out here. Yep, there's the eruption. My boy should be able to soak up this all day. Actually, mag zone's going to take some damage, but Pelper soaks up. And what are we going to do from here? He's going to go for a facade. Go into Pelper. Dang it. Magnazone goes down. God dang it. I just want to showcase Magnazone. And this guy's doing me dirty. Can Trick Room end here? Trick Room does end. That is beautiful. Let's rock into our toe kiss now. And then from here, I think we just scald and maybe air slash. What do we double down into that? Uh, what do we double down into? My boy right here. We could double down in here thinking that he might protect me. I'm going to double. I'm double down in the Snorlax. And instead of going for Actually, yeah. Scald's our best bet. Skulls are our best bet. We're going to air slash. We're doubling down the Snorlax. He's belly jump. He's definitely posing a threat. Yes. Okay. So he doesn't protect. Can we KO this thing? Can we get rid of this thing? Oh, I think so. We don't get a crit. We don't get a crit. Togi, what are you doing? Yo, no way. We do burn this thing. We don't get a crit. Punch is going to come through here. Pelper, eat this up. He does, yo. Pelper soaks up due to the burn. And Heatwave's going to fly here. So Heatwave flies out here. What is my play? What is my play? I think I know my play. I think I do know my play. This one's going to come down the wire. Burn's going to chip up. Burn's not going to do nearly enough that we want it to do. Do we protect this turn? I could roost. I think I'm going to roost. I think we need HP. Hopefully one of his... No, one of his Pokemon do not protect. We're going to roost here. What's he going for? We're going to get some HP back. We got to play this one slow, dude. I think he's going to take me out with a facade here. No! Oh my god, of course this thing's rocking facade. I was going to protect and kind of hope that like burn takes out. But it was kind of over from there. But solid battle. Like I said, Trick Room definitely does his dirty. Battle number one did not go in our favor. Opponent had a Trick Room team to counter up on our squad. And then eventually he got that Belly Jump Snorlax to pop out there in the back end and defeat us. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle. Let's look to grab ourselves first victory for today's video. And he has a pretty cool team right here. He's got the Scizor alongside with that. Probably Defiant Empoleon if I had to guess. Luckily, we're not rocking out with any Intimidate Mons. He also has a Tailwind with the Crobat for Speed Control. Then he has Intimidate Arcanine, Cliff Fable, and a great Special Attacker with that Rotom Mo. But he has no Weather Control, which leads me to want to bring Pelipper and Ludicolo. I might leave Magnazone here. I feel like Magnazone could be solid. Maybe just full switch out, kind of rock out from there. We could also bring Blaziken. And I might want to lead Blaziken here. I think I am going to end up leading Blaziken. Let's leave Blaziken. I could go for Intimidate turn one, which could definitely be a problem. So, you know what? Let's go Magnazone, Ludicolo for the lead, Pelipper, and then last but not least, let's bring Blaziken. I am liking this. Let's grab ourselves a win here. Let's grab ourselves a win here because I'm kind of upset that we lost that last one. A little upset. We did burn the, uh, the what's it called? The Snorlax, but of course he had Facade. Of course he had Facade when we got a burn on him. It wasn't like he, like, procced it himself. We scalded him up there. We got burned. He just hit one for that Facade and took us out there. But it was definitely very, very close towards the end because our Trick Room ended. But I'm kind of kind of upset that my Magazine went down in one shot. He just dumped on my Magazine, no problem. Erupted, Facade into it, doubled down, and he was, he was gone. But hopefully this guy's picking four Pokemon. He took a little bit of a long time to do that, so... We're going to hope it's four. We're going to hope it's four. But hopefully we get to show off this Magazine a little bit here and get rocking with him. He goes Crobat. He goes Rotomio. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. We're just going to fake out onto that, uh, what's it called, slot? Onto that Rotom slot. And I think we just Volt Switch Pivot out, right? Volt Switch Pivot out. Save our Magazine for the back end. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Dropping this fake out. Let's roll. Let's do it, baby. So perfect little lead here. I really do like it. I think Magazine could do a huge amount of damage onto the Crobat considering we're just bulked up in that special attack and slot but yo look at magnetism just spinning his little magnets on the front yo it's hilarious he was doing one at a time and it was kind of cracking me up so hopefully he does again right now they're all moving simultaneously but yo he was doing a one at a time he's like right hand left hand just spinning those things all around but let's see this dude's play let's see this dude's play maybe he's trying to set up a tailwind but i really do like our lead countering up against him we get a guaranteed flinch off to that rotom and we get a big uh special attacking shot but his crowbat will definitely outspeed us I think he's deciding if he wants to go into a move. Oh, he's going to withdraw both of them. Or does he want to set up a Tailwind? So let's see what he goes into. He goes into Arcanine. That's fine. We're both special attackers. and We're thriving here. I think he's just trying to rock out the Snarl. But once I Volt Switch out, we'll get the rain and we'll be able to do some big old damage to this Pokemon. So let's see how this one plays. Fake out's going to poke here. Chip up some damage onto that Arcanine. La 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 la. And you Tailwind? What are you doing? Tailwind. Okay, so yeah. The Tailwind comes out here. He's probably going to try to Snarl up next turn. But this Volt Switch should be able to do a good amount of damage. Volt Switch Pivot. Big old damage, yo. Bring that thing down to the sash. Ripping that thing up, yo. Loving you, Magnazone. Magnazone's 
ripping through. And he still has his sturdy ability, which is absolutely amazing. It's basically like a free focus edge. Now, Crowbat drops down. We get off some big damage. I could go into Blaziken, but I just feel like saving Blaziken for that back end step player play. We'll bring Pelipper out here. Rocking with that Paloops, dude. I love Pelipper, man. Such a cool Pokemon. I love his giant bill. Look at it, dude. Carry like a thousand fish in there, dude. Carry the whole sea down there. But we can Scald. Uh, what do we do here? Get Hurricane. Get Scald. What's the play here? Probably want to go into a Scald with uh with you over in this slot. But we're going in Hurricane over on the Crobat because it is a uh, 100% super effect or 100% accuracy in the rain. So we might as well use it. Might as well connect it onto that uh, Crobat and kind of roll off from there. But he does have speed, which leads me to think he's going to outspeed with the Arcanine. Maybe just drop Snarls for special attack drops. But even, even with that minus one special attack, I still feel like uh, Ludicolo can do a big amount of damage with that Life Orb. With the rain, with the super effective damage, it should just stack up and be able to dump on Arcanine regardless. So Ar Aerial Ace pops out here, and okay, cool. Ludicolo eats up, and what is what are you going for? There's the Snarl. The Snarl comes out here. Ludicolo stays alive, which is beautiful. We're going to be able to take out Crobat, no problem. Arcanine, I still feel it goes down here, right? I feel like we're going to be kind of close. Minus one, but dude, with all these stacks on top, I see Ludicolo just doing big damage. Yeah. Easily, easily gone. Yo, we had that rain boost. We had a life for boost. We had a super effective boost. We had a stab boost. It was just game over. It was just game over. We got down to five HP, so we will have one more turn left, which is awesome. And Hurricane's going to poke through here. 100% actually. Crobat, get on out my game. Get on out my game. Get him on out of here. So we still have Magstone in the back. We still have a few protects to kind of just like wear out this uh, Tailwind turns. And he's going to showcase his last two Pokemon. So Scissor's going to come out here. We have Blaziken for that, but it is going to be raining. And he has Rotom, which we already know, which is going to be weird. So I think he just bull punches into me. And mm, do we protect this turn? I feel like we have to protect. I feel like we have to protect because we know that electric move is coming through to take out my Pelipper. Leave my Pelipper alone. We'll try to get off the Scald here, but it is going to be a bull punch into Thunderbolt kind of turn, right? Unless he reads my protect and drops a nasty bot, which would be amazing. Which would be an amazing read for our opponent. But, hmm, I could have saved my Ludicolo. My Ludicolo definitely could have been doing good. But Pelper's going to protect. Uh, da -da -da, what do we do from here? What's the Gene's play from here? He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. Oh, Dark Pulse is coming in here. And no Bull Punch comes out here? Ludicolo is going to be able to outspeed. Yo, that's huge. That is huge. Give me a burn. Show me a burn. Give me a burn. No burn. Okay, I'll take that all day. Wow, it goes for Dark Pulse. He could have stayed in. What's Lily Cole going for? Or what was his? He was going for an X scissor into. Wow. No bull punch? No bull punch? That's a little weird, right? That's a little whack. We do have sturdy on you, so leads me to want to go in, into you, right? Yeah, might as well. There's no way he doubles down into my uh. No way he doubles down into my magazine. We have sturdy. We still have a focus hash. I feel like we're sitting in a great position here. So from here, uh, we're just gonna go for a hurricane. Hurricane, and we'll go for a Thunder, yo. 100% accuracy. We'll take out the Scissor, no problem with this Magnezone. Magnezone, do him dirty. Do him dirty. I don't see him having any moves to kind of just like... Well, he can't one-tap me. I have Sturdy, but like, I don't see him double down into me, right? Let's see, Scissor finally goes for... I th I, where was this last turn? I don't understand. I don't understand. Where was this last last turn? Maybe he misclicked. Dark Pulse going to fly through here. He's going to chip up on Magnezone. That's some good damage. That's some good damage, but Hurricane's going to pop. KO, maybe? No. Give me the Ducks. I forgot he was electric type. <laughs> Thunder's gonna poke here. This should KO. Big old damage coming out from a Magnezone. Scissor, get on out of here. Magnezone is the better steel type. And that's pretty much gonna solidify this battle and give us a win here in battle number two. So we're gonna move on to one and one. We're gonna try to grab ourselves a winning record in that battle number three. But Hurricane's gonna pop here. I'll just drop another Thunder, you know. It's gonna do the most damage that we can. But I just see this guy canceling out. He does not. Rotom's gonna go into Dark Pulse. And maybe this dude was like choice or something. It kind of does seem like he is choice. I still want some big damage for a Dark Pulse on a Rotom. But Thunder Pokes here, how much damage is this going to do? Not bad. Paralyze, maybe? Paralyze, maybe? No Paralyze. No Paralyze. Hurricane's going to pop again. And Tailwind is gone. And he's going to go for another Dark Pulse. So, God dang, yo, this thing is swollen. And he goes into Magazone. Yeah, this thing is definitely choice spec. Not changing his moves. Try to take out my Magazone. And that's GG's. He gets a free focus. That's what you mean. And we flinch. And we flinch. What you mean? But yo, this Thunder and Hurricane combo is really, really strong. Very strong hitting moves, and it's 100% accuracy in the rain. That's GG's. Like I said, this thing's got to be choice. It's just rocking Dark Pulses out here. Let's see. Yeah, it's choice. It's doing big damage for Dark Pulse, too. Dark Pulse comes through here with the Pelipper. We're going to Thunder. We're going to say GG's. One and one for today's video. Magazine clutching up, yo. 
And I'm glad we got to bring him out here in this battle. Picked up three KOs, right? Was it three? Now he took out the scissor and brought down the Crobat to the focus dash. But yo, he did some big damage and a lot of work here in battle number two. Hopping into our third and final battle for today's video, coming off a pretty good victory in battle number two. Battle number one, we lost due to like Trick Room, you know, we couldn't really counter that up. But battle number two, we have to show off Magnet Zone and use him a lot. We have to use him a lot. He picked up two KOs, brought down the Crobat to his focus dash. So I really do like how we used him in that second battle. But let's bring him in on this third battle. But it's looking like I don't want to lead him. This guy's got pretty cool teams. He's got the Breloom, the Metachamp, Storm Drain, Gastron. So I think he's going to bring that due to us having that rain squad. But then he has Latios, Scissor, and Skarmory. So due to that Scissor and Skarmory, I definitely want to bring in Blaziken. We didn't even get to show him off yet. I brought him in the last battle, but didn't even get to bring him out. So we're just going to bring in Blaziken here and then go into Ludicolo, maybe for the fake out lead. I really do like that. Then bring Tokus for the follow me and then Magnus. I'm kind of liking this squad. I am actually digging the squad, yo. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. We really do not need the rain with Ludicolo. I feel like he thrives on his own. And I don't really feel like bringing Garchomp. Garchomp would be solid here. But it's such like, yo, we use him in like every single team. Let's use some different Pokemon. This guy ends up leading Breloom alongside Metacham. And let's get rocking here. So he does have pick up with Metacham. How do we want to play this one? How do we want to play this one? We could protect. He is probably going to try to fake me out here. And maybe spore me. So I'm just going to actually just protect here. Keep my focus ash. And I'm going to go for a fake out onto the Breloom side. Let's see how this one plays out here. So I'm going to protect, get my speed boost next turn, and be able to do some big damage. And then what's going to happen here? He's going to go for a fake out onto my Ludicolo. Okay, so Ludicolo flinches, and that's some big damage. What are you going for? Uh, Breloom Spore, maybe? He's definitely got to be Sporing, right? He goes for Spore into Blaziken. Blaziken blocks up. We get speed boost. If I had to guess, that thing is probably Focus Ash. So I kind of got to watch out for that. I kind of got to watch out for that. So from here, Sword Stance, I'm just going to go for a Blaze Kick, right? Blaze Kick's got to be your play. Right into you, and then maybe just drop uh, a Scald? Or do I Giga Drain and get some HP back? I'm actually going to go for a Scald. Maybe look for a Burn on a Medichain. That could be big. That could definitely be big. Blaze Kick's going to fly through here. I'm guessing this thing's Focus Ash, right? It is. So Focus Ash comes out here. We have a Focus Ash of our own. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Unless he's doubling down into me. Sports going to come out here. He puts me to sleep. He puts me to sleep. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you put me to sleep here? He's going to go straight for a Drain Punch. Can we eat that up? No, yo, Metachamp hits like a truck. This thing hits like an absolute truck. How should we go into this one? How should we play this next turn? Uh, I'm kind of scared. I'm not even gonna lie, because I feel like Breloom can just kind of just explore up and kind of just get after the battle that way, right? It's definitely scary. This thing shows its orb. Um, hmm. What's my plan? There's my speed boost. I can wait for my Blaziken to wake up. Maybe just protect next turn? Obviously, he's definitely gonna spore into me. He's definitely gonna spore into me. If I can get off of Dazzle and Gleam, we could be sitting in a great position, but... Again, I do think he spores into me, and I kind of want to protect, but at the same time, I don't want to protect. At the same time, I just want to go straight for Dazzling Gleam here. Let's do it. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna throw it. I'm just going to throw it. Blaze getting slumped. God dang it. And then Breloom's going to go, or Togus. Oh, Togus outspeeds. That's beautiful. Give me a crit on the med jam. Let's go. Get out my face, yo. Huge play from our Togus. Got to love it. Got to love it. I feel like this battle would have been sitting in a tough position if that guy would have just spored me. Both my Pokemon would have been asleep. That wastes a turn for a Blaziken. And I feel like maybe, just maybe our Blaziken will wake up. We're plus three on the speed board, dude. We are flying. We still have our Focus Ash. I would love to set up a Sword Stance with them. But we still have the lovely Magnetism in the back end, which is great. Which is really, really good. So let's see who he goes into. Let's see who our opponent goes into. It's going to be Skizor. He has to have the Skizor or the, Sar or the Skarmory, right? One or the other, you have to have. Latias comes out. Okay, I'm with that. And last but not least, it's going to be... Bum, 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 bum. Scissor, baby. Yo, run it up. Run it up. Okay, so from here, Blaze Kick. Oh, we got to watch out for that Bullet Punch. You know what? I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect. Hopefully, my Blaze Kick wakes up, yo. Wake up, dude. Quick naps, yo. We don't we, we don't like to sleep here. We don't like to sleep. So we're going to protect. Try to block this Bullet Punch. I think... If I, if I had to guess, it's coming into me, right? It's got to be coming into me. If we can land a Blaze Kick, it's going to be GG's, right? I feel like my magazine could do some work. We still have Sturdy on him. We still have Focus Ash on Blaziken. I'm digging where we're sitting. I really am. I really do like where we're sitting. Focus goes for protect. Show me the bull punch is coming across. Show it to me, baby. Bull punch. Bang. Big old block for Jeans. Nice little read. And Blaze Kick. Wake up. Let's go, yo. GG, yo. Get out my face. We miss. Oh, my Lord. Get out my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. How do we miss a Blaze Kick? How do we miss a blaze kick? But we're going to lose because of this. We are going to lose because of this, right? 
What's the blaze kick's accuracy? 90? What you mean? Yo, come on. All right, what's our play here? Do we think he bull punches on me? I think he bull punches on me. And we drop a big old gleam. That's what I'm going for. We still have Sturdy with our, uh, with our Maggie Stone. So this is a last ditch effort here. This match should be over. That scissor should be dead. Hopefully he's not bull punching in my toe kiss. If he does, that's pretty much game. But I just don't think he's doing that, right? I think he's going to bull punch in the blaze again. He knows we have speed with the speed boost. Make it happen. Quick attack. Oh, big block. Big block. Toe kiss outspeed here. Toe kiss is not outspeed. We're going to be able to eat up the psychic though. That's the gleam going to poke out here. Can we get a big old crit? That's the gleam going to poke out here. Crit on this Latios, please. Oh my god. We bring it down to one. We bring it down to one. This is tough. This is real tough. What do I do? What do I do? We're definitely double dying. We're, both my Pokemon have to be dying here. You have to be dying here. God, dude, no way. No way we're going to lose this battle. Uh, I guess we'll go into a Blaze Kick here. But you know what? You know what? I got this. 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 Blaze Kick in the follow me. In the follow me. Soak up this shot. Let the Tokus go down here. Blaze Kick will take out the Scissor and it'll turn into a 1v1. Is that the play? So that's the play. Quick attack. Blaze can outspeeds. Oh, Tokus eats anyway. Let's go. That's GG's. That is GG's, baby. Let's go. Let's go, yo. Big plays by Jeans here. We don't get to bring out the Magazine in the end. Actually, we will be able to. But it's over with, yo. We got this win in the back. The follow me clutches up. I was just trying to think. And I was just like, wait a minute. We have follow me. We can make something happen here. And I was sitting there. I was like, oh, he's just going to quick attack in my blaze skin. Oh. <laughs> but like I said, I thought he was just going to quick attack in my blaze skin and then take out the Tokus with the Latios. But then I remembered we had to follow me and we clutched up. But yo, look at this. Dude quits the battle, turned off his switch. I love it so much. Two and one for today's video. Ended up grabbing that winning record for you guys. Got to show off Magnus Zone a little bit in battle number two. Actually, a great bit in battle number two. Not really in battle number one because he got dumped on. In battle number two, he didn't even get the sh shine in that one because, you know, Blaze Kim was doing work alongside with that toad kiss. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.